Aloha, my beautiful friends. This is Rachel Archelaus from the Intuitive Art Academy. I hope that you enjoy your intuitive art practice. If you've never done it before, you can get a free class at intuitiveartacademy.com or just go to that link that's on my screen right now, sephiraspress.com, and that way you'll get the free class and all the behind the scenes stuff of the book launch. So if you don't know, um, I created intuitive art over 23 years ago. Oh my God. And I've been doing it and teaching it almost ever since. And it's just a way to connect with your higher self so that you can get more information from your intuition. Normally when your intuition is telling you something, it's only a yes or a no. So it's like, don't go there or don't go with that person or, you know, or yes, that's for you. But we need more context usually in order to make an informed decision. And when you can have that back and forth conversation, it makes your life so much easier and you're much more likely to follow your intuition, which will lead to making excellent decisions. So every day until my book launches in May, I'm going to bring you a new question that you can ask using intuitive art that will help you in your life or your business. So today's question was inspired by a client that I worked with this morning and we were figuring out what is the easiest way to make more sales. And um, I just thought that was a fantastic question. And so here is the drawing that I did for her. You can see it kind of, I, I think I joked that it was like a cosmic fried egg. And then I did the same question for myself. And that is it. You know, there's similarities there. There's a squiggly line. There's two circles, one smaller and one bigger. Very interesting. There's also green in both of them. So I just thought I would present that question for you so that if you have a business, you know, oftentimes we just get ourselves into such a tizzy if we're not making sales or, um, you know, if money's not coming in, we, we tend to freak out a little bit. But really what we want to do is go back into our bodies, into the present moment, and really be present with what we're doing, who we are, what's exciting us. That can be hard to do. And so using intuitive art as a tool to answer that question cuts through everything. And the question's so brilliant because it's what's the easiest way to make more sales? It's not how do I make more sales in general? And so I'll give you some insights. On the client drawing, there is a big mindset piece and there is this point about how she's showing up. So for her, it was to add in more creativity into what she's doing. So basically, if she's going to write a sales email, make it more creative, show her creative side. If she's going to do a Facebook Live, you know, make it more creative, it, you know, bring her artwork into it or put it in the background. Um, and that's something that we wouldn't normally think about when we're just freaking out and focused on money. This is about, you know, incorporating more personality. And then some of the other stuff that came up for the drawing was that she needed to show up and she needed to own what she was doing and what her big purpose and vision is for the world. And that, again, that's really about being present and knowing your worth and knowing why you're doing what you're doing, that bigger picture. That's something that we need to slow down in order to feel. So if we're just kind of scrambling and writing and sending out um, this desperate energy for money, which is understandable, you know, we all have to pay the bills. We all need gas money. We all need food money. But if we can take a step back, and really own what we're doing, get into the vibration of mastery and ownership, then it will work a lot better. And that's really what the drawing was telling her. I haven't decoded mine yet, so let's see what mine's telling me. So right off the bat, I'm seeing this red line here, and that red to me is action. And since it's a squiggle, and it's so, kind of uniform, it seems maybe like it's a daily action, like maybe doing these daily videos will bring me more sales. Um, 
daily action consistency. That's what I'm getting here. And of course the brown is very interesting. It's being grounded. Um, maybe it's like doing more local things like local classes where I'm actually interacting with my community in a really grounded physical way. I have creativity again for myself in the middle. And then I have this like pinkish red color here, which is it's inspired action. It's loving action. It's really being in the moment and enjoying what I'm doing. So those are really good indicators of what to do if I want more sales easily. And I would ask myself, okay, what action steps can I take from this? Because it's one thing to get clarity. It's totally another thing to do something about it. So daily consistent action. One is this live intuitive art video I'm doing every day. Maybe I could think of something else groundedness, you know, maybe I'm feeling like taking a walk every day in my community and maybe setting up some local classes and then making sure that I really enjoy what I'm doing and I'm not doing anything that's bringing me out of my body or, you know, knocking me off or feeling desperate. We don't want to be leaning into anything. We want to be centered and in control of ourselves and then letting our energy do the work. So I like this. I will investigate this more for myself. And if you have a business or a side project or whatever, and you want to make more sales, definitely do this drawing. What is the easiest way for me to make more sales? And let me know how it goes for you. And hi, Karen, so good to see you, awesome. Yeah, so let's all go out and spread our love and genius and creativity in the world and have people interact with it because that's really what, you know, making sales is all about. It's about sharing and interacting with our world and making it a better place. So much love to you. I will see you tomorrow. And if you have an example or a question that you want to ask, then definitely leave me a comment. I'll be back every single day until May till my book launches and um, I'll have time to answer your questions and do drawings that will help you in the best way. And also go to the link, sephiraspress.com, put your name in there and sign up for all the behind the scenes stuff because I'm gonna be doing giveaways and contests and free readings and all sorts of stuff in anticipation for my book coming out. So lots of love and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.